Dr. Dupree, you see a lot of women who are, don't have breast cancer, but who are at higher risk than normal for breast cancer because of a strong family history, or they have an inherited genetic mutation that puts them at high risk, or maybe they even have both. And they're used to being on a pretty set schedule every six months, let's say, mammography alternating with MRI scanning, and they don't want to have their whole schedule of close surveillance messed up. Um, how do you take care of those patients in this setting of the COVID-19 pandemic? So based on the consortium's recommendations, these patients fall into what we call priority C, which patients who are candidates for preventative measures. So some of these patients are candidates for anti-estrogen therapy for prevention. Um, and if the patient is due for routine screening, we will likely delay that 10 to 12 weeks unless there is a clinical concern. Anytime a patient has a clinical concern, nipple discharge, skin changes, or mass, they will need to be seen. Thank you, that's really helpful. Um, for those patients who are at higher than average risk, let's say they have uh, a strong family history, or they have an inherited genetic mutation, or maybe they have both, and you've counseled them, and they've made a decision with you and the genetic counselor and your team uh, to go ahead and have prophylactic surgeries to substantially lower the risk, and with that, they also want uh, reconstruction. Um, are those people who can have that surgery now um, or are those patients delayed because of the COVID uh, crisis? So I've had to delay three patients because of uh, the patients that carry a genetic predisposition and none of them were very happy about it. But when we talked about the, the fact that any, going under anesthesia can drop your immunity and the risk to them potentially of undergoing surgical procedures and then having to recover during this if there's any complications. Um, they were very understanding about it. The recommendation by the consortium is to not do um, any kind of risk reduction surgery at this time until the, the curve shifts in a better direction. That's very helpful, thank you.